critical temperatures and pseudo critical pressures of a natural gas mixture consisting of 89% methane, 8% ethane, and 3% propane. The chemical properties of C1, C2, and C3 components are as follows. Component C1 has a critical temperature of 349, 343 Rankine, and a critical pressure of 667 PSIA absolute, 62 M. C2, which is ethan, has a critical temperature of 550 Rankine and a critical pressure of 708 PSI absolute. And then the propane has a critical temperature of 666 Rankine and a critical pressure of 615 PSI absolute. Now we are asked to find calculate the critical temperature and the critical pressure of a natural gas. So of this kind of complex mixture. So now let's begin. So, so we have a component mixture. Let's say let me write the components. We have C1 which is methane, C2 which is ethane. C3, which is propane. Now, we have the component mixtures as saying the percentage mixture was given, which is 89% of methane, 8% of ethane, and 3% of propane. So if you add all of this together, it will give us 100%. Now the more fraction, let me just write more fraction, which is Y for this. So 89 divided by 100 will give you 0 0.89. 8 divided by 100 will give you 0 0.08. 3 divided by 100 will give you 0.03. So, this is the more percentage of each of the components. Now, we, we are given the critical temperature. Let me just write T critical of each component. T critical of each component. Now, we are given 343. This is in degree Rankine, that is absolute temperature. Now we have 550 for a 10 for propane, we have 666. Now for pressure, critical, uh, critical pressure, PCI. Now this is absolute pressure. So we for methane we have six hundred and sixty seven for ethane we have seven hundred and eight for propane we have six hundred and fifteen now we ask to calculate the critical temperature so the critical temperature of the whole mixture is just the sum. Let me just call it the critical temperature. Let's say T subscript C will be equal to the sum of the product of each component, each component move fraction times the critical. The sum of the product of each component more fraction of the critical temperature will give you this. So the sum of more fraction, which is y, 
for each component times T C I. So that is it. So now let's now calculate for that. Now let's say Y I times M T T subscript C I. So now we are going to calculate for each for each component now so we have 0 0.89 times the critical temperature which is what 343 so that will give us what that gives us 300 5.27 so now 0 0.08 times 5500 will give us what 44 give us 44 now 0 0.03 times 666 will give us what 19.9 So, so now we're going to add them together. We're going to add them together. So the summation of Y, I, T, C, I will be brought to what? So, 305.27 plus 44 plus 19.98 give us what this will give us what 369.25 degree round kind so this will be 369.25 25 degree rank and so now let's calculate the, this now the critical temperature of the natural gas mixture now let's calculate the critical pressure now you say uh, y i times p critical i now we now multiply this times x so now you have what will that give us? You have 0 0.89 times 343. This will give us what? You know, 0 0.89 times the critical pressure, which is 667. This will give us. 593.63 now 0 0.08 times 708 this will give us what 56.64 now 0 0.03 times 615 will give us what 18.45. Now, the pressure critical for the natural gas will be the summation of the product of each component times the pressure component of each components which is this so now if we sum this together what will it give us if we sum them together we have 593.63 plus 56.64 plus 18 point 
45. And this will give us 668.72 USI A absolutes. Make sure you use the absolute value of each of the critical temperatures if given in if given in let's say this is given in it's not given in absolutes you convert to absolutes and use it to solve the particular particular problem so now we have come to the end of this particular question now if you look at the answers critically you see that the natural gas mixture behave entirely closer to the one that has a higher percentage now it behaves like methane when you look at it methane critical temperature is 343 why the mixture critical temperature is 369.25 so close to methane property now if you look at the critical pressure is 668.72 it's close to this so it behaves more like this component so that is it so now let's go back to now we are going to write down what we got as our critical temperature because there are some questions so we the critical temperature we got was 369.25 degree Rankine and the other one the critical pressure is 668.72 psi a so i'm going to use this to solve the next problem now the next problem what we are asked to do now they said if the temperature of the gas in the previous example in the previous ones which is this one this is a previous example is eight degree fahrenheit in the previous question which is this is 80 degree fahrenheit and the average gas pressure is 1000 psh so now ask what is the critical reducing temperature and speedo reducing pressure of the gas using 14.7 psi absolute for base pressure so when you check now the temperature of the gas as we are speaking as in the condition of the gas is 80 degree fahrenheit the condition of the gas is as in the temperature is 80 degree fahrenheit while the pressure the average gas pressure is 1000 PSIG. Now, and they, they asked us to use the base pressure of the gas to be 14.7 PSI gauge, PSI A, sorry. That is the absolute atmospheric pressure. And this, at the, at the that this condition or at the lab condition where this measurement is being taken so now let's go back and now finalize this calculation by calculating the pseudo reducing temperature and pseudo reducing pressure of this natural gas so now let's go back so now now we have gotten the quick up the critical temperature of the natural gas which is 369.25 degree Fahrenheit and we have gotten 
the critical pressure of the natural gas to be 668 point 73 psi a now we ask we are given the condition of the gas which is at 80 degree fahrenheit so 80 degree fahrenheit we change it to rank and you have you add 460 degree so this will now give us so you have 540 degree rank and so meaning that 80 degree Fahrenheit is equal to 540 degree rank and so now while the pressure of the gas is 1000 psi g that's pressure gauge now the changes to absolute you have because absolute is what we're going to be using to calculate the reducing pressure so now to get the to, to change this to absolute you add the base pressure which is 14.7 so we now have 114.7 psi a that is absolute this is a absolute let me write it well a absolute so now we now need to calculate the reducing temperature that is T subscript R. Reducing temperature is the temperature of the gas divided by the critical temperature of the gas. So the temperature of the gas is 540 divided by the critical temperature, which is 369.25. So so that means the reducing temperature of the gas will not be five, will not be, will not be five forty divided by three sixty nine point twenty five. So this will give us one point. Four six two. Now the reducing in pressure will now be one hundred and fourteen point seventy five by the critical pressure, which is six hundred and sixty eight point seventy three. So let me just write the formula. The pressure of the gas divided by the critical pressure of the gas. So this is how to calculate the reducing, the pseudo reducing pressure of the gas. So the pseudo reducing pressure is 114.7 divided by 668.7. So this will give us one point five one seven as our reducing pressure. So that is it. So now thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day. God bless and do well to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that anytime I make new videos will be the